Good morning, everybody. And I hope you, that you're all well. Through Christ, we rise from the ruins of our broken lives. And the first step is to acknowledge our brokenness. This is a poem entitled Kintsugi, written by our brother Russell Bart. Lord, I am a broken pot, dropped from the shelf of existence. My heart is bitter, full of rot, my body fragile pieces, scattered on the ground. Why do you allow me to suffer so? Why do you let troubles cover me like a burial mound? I am no good to anyone now. I am useless this way. No, you are not, I hear you say. You are still precious, a work of art, a masterpiece in the making. I will take the pain you are forsaking. I will restore you, so you will be more beautiful. Like a kintsugi pot, a gold rugged band running through you my love covering the spaces and sealing the wounds your suffering has brought you closer to me closer to my sacrifice don't deny it embrace it Uh, today me and my friend Guy went to Ashby Castle in Ashby de la Zouche. Now at one time Ashby Castle was a very impressive place to be. The property began as a manor house in the 12th century and reached castle status in the 15th century. Edward IV's Chamberlain Lord Hastings added the chapel and the impressive keep like Hastings Tower a castle within a castle. Over the centuries the building was changed according to the times. However, it is now a ruined fortification. During its heyday, Ashby Castle attracted royal visitors, but now it lies in ruins. Looking around at the crumbling walls and castle, you get the distinct impression that Ashby, Ashby Castle has seen better days. This morning let us consider whether our churches are a bit like this. Not necessarily, not necessarily physically, although with some that may be the case. I'm thinking more along the lines of spiritually as well. Has Kegworth Baptist Church seen better days? I sometimes look at our church building and imagine the commitment that those Baptists must have had in building such a wonderful chapel in the first place. We hear the stories from some of our fellowship today of how they would go along to a packed Sunday school as a child. On anniversary day the chapel would be full of people. And we have also seen some encouraging times during more recent years. Now at the service this morning at Kegworth Baptist Chapel we, we will begin on our journey looking at the book of Nehemiah. And we will learn that Nehemiah was in Susa far away from Jerusalem. He was doing well for himself but then he heard that Jerusalem was in ruins and this news caused Nehemiah to weep and pray. I wonder how often we are affected like this when we consider the former glory of our churches compared to the situation today. Do we really care or do we just shrug our shoulders and accept things the way that they are? Nehemiah cares so much that he feels the urge to do something about it. He prays again and seeks permission from the king to return to Jerusalem. 
Miraculously, the king also gives him materials to aid the rebuilding. Sometimes all that we have got to do, is to start with anyway, is ask. And we can do this through prayer. So Nehemiah goes to Jerusalem and together with almost all of the people, he sets about returning Jerusalem to its former glory. Everybody is involved. Ordinary people like you and me, they all muck in. And when the rebuilding is done, the people recommit themselves to God. The physical work has been done, providing a platform for the spiritual. The people rededicate themselves to living their lives according to God's laws, and they are blessed by God. During that period of time, Jerusalem has a taste of its former glory. Now as followers of Christ, we know that church is not a building. The church is us, the people. Let us look then at ourselves, together, as the body of Christ. Are we hanging on to glorious days of the past? Do we really need to get back to where we once were before we can begin to start moving forward again? In Jesus we are put right afresh and we have that opportunity at the foot of the cross to rekindle the glorious days gone by. And like Nehemiah we need to care we need to pray and we need to take action together we can be rebuilt into into all that in jesus we can be during the centuries ashby castle was altered according to the times and as a church we shouldn't be looking to return to being exactly the same as we were in days gone by we need to be rebuilt to face the times in which we live. And I don't think that Ashby Castle will ever see its glory days again. It's condemned to lie in ruins. Well, as for you and me, we have the opportunity in Jesus to be a fresh new creation. We can become that new bespoke creation, rebuilt for this specific time and place. And in Jesus, we can make our own piece of history. These are historic times in which we live. Let us, the body of Christ, shine within the darkness of these times. Our Father in heaven is speaking to us during these difficult days. As individuals and as a church, as the body of Christ, the time has come to rebuild. The time has come to be rebuilt. God bless you all. Amen. Your kingdom